After three people were struck by lightning yesterday in the Northland and more storms moved into the region today, experts are warning people to take severe weather seriously. Bryce Henry is live at Essentia Health St. Mary's Hospital in Duluth, where two of the lightning strike victims are recovering. That's tonight's top story at six. And Bryce, how are they doing today? Well, Michelle, as of right now, the father uh, that was struck by lightning in Cherry uh, is still in critical condition. His four-year-old daughter has improved. She's now in state, or excuse me, fair condition. Meanwhile, the 12-year-old who was struck by lightning on the Anger Park Golf Course has also improved. He's now in stable condition. Experts are warning uh, that lightning can strike anywhere within 15 miles of a storm. Lightning can strike when you least expect it, as shown from this video sent to us by a woman in Orr who was filming from her garage. The lightning strikes just feet from her. She was okay, but weather experts say it's important to know when you're in danger. When thunder roars, go indoors. So if you can hear thunder, that thunderstorm is close enough that you are in danger of getting struck by lightning. The National Lightning Institute says that the chance of being hit is about 1 in 280,000. Despite those seemingly large odds, experts say people should not take chances. In a lightning storm, you're encouraged to get inside and away from doors and windows. If being inside is not an option, you want to go to a low area and avoid tall objects such as a lone tall tree or a lone uh, pole, tall poles. On Sunday, 12 year old Nathan Burke was struck by lightning at Anger Park Golf Course and is lucky to be alive thanks to a quick thinking from those around him. First responders with the Duluth Fire Department say if you witness someone being struck, it's important to remember that 90% of people survive and it can come down to beginning resuscitation right away. Um, make sure that you assess their breathing and pulse. Uh, most people that do die from lightning strikes die from sudden cardiac arrest. So if you can uh, resuscitate them, start CPR, uh, first call 911, then start CPR, uh, secondly. The resuscitation may have saved Burke's life. Weather experts say there is also one last key to prevention. Know the weather before you go. Check the forecast, check the radar. All important things that could save your life during summer storms. And 12 year old Nathan Burke's father was giving a big thank you to the person who uh, resuscitated his son with CPR uh, ex and uh, uh, on that golf course on Sunday. Michelle. So, Bryce, is there any warning that we might have before lightning strikes? There is. This is something uh, everybody should know. If you ever feel like a tingling throughout your body or even see your hair start to rise, that means that there's plenty of static electricity around you and you could be struck by lightning. Mm -hmm. If that does happen, run and get out of the way because uh, that's a dangerous place to be. You have a split second to make that mm -hmm. decision. All right. Thank you very much. Bryce Henry reporting.